Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Cloudflare's gateway on Zero Trust. Makes it to where you can set your own DNS server on a Mac or your computer or AdGuard Home or anything like that, and uh, do D uh, DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS, and then you, you can block it with policies, everything like that. So <clears throat> this series is about creating a smart home from scratch. So I'm going to go over installing everything to get into home automations, and I normally try to do a video every day. So, so uh, if you want to support the channel, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. Oh, I forgot to thank this viewer for suggesting this video. I really appreciate suggestions. It keeps me motivated and keeps me having ideas for more videos. So, if you want to suggest videos, I'd greatly appreciate it. So you can go down in the comments down below, or you can do it on the Big Bear Community. Uh, I started the Discord, and you can join it. And uh, thank you very much if you join it. And also, let's get back to the regular scheduled programming. So I'm going to start out on the Zero Trust dashboard. You can get to that from your Cloudflare dashboard. And then I'm going to go to Gateway right here. Then I'm going to go to DNS locations, which are already selected. And then I'm going to add a location. These DNS locations make it where you can separate diff different DNS locations like data centers, homes, different things like that, and block different things on those specific areas. Like if you have a data center one, you can block certain IPs, certain uh, DNS policies on that one. Then you can go over here and go to that, that data center two and have a less secure policy or something like that and block certain things. You can block Facebook. If you have like a, a work location, you can set up a different DNS location for that and make it to where you can block social networks, different things for your employees or, or if you do that. So now I'm going to go into add a location right here. Then you're going to give it a name. So I'm going to give it Big Bear Testing Location. So, okay. Okay, now you have to add your source IPv4 address. And you can go down here and uh, set the current address that you have. Um, you can. So now it's set and my IP address is in there. And then now you can set it as the default DNS location. And also you can enable eDNS. This is to where it, it will send your location's uh, like address, like your IP address, to a DNS resolver and make it to where you can have location-based requests and different things like that. So you can, uh, you can enable or disable that if you'd like. And then you can go down to the bottom right and say add location. And then now you can proceed. And then now you're on this to where you have your DNS over TLS domain, you have your DNS over HTTPS domain right here. And then you can also go down here and um, you can get different setup guides for different uh, types of operating systems. So you can go to your router right here. Uh, you can also use DNS over TLS on like AdGuard and DNS over HTTPS on AdGuard. That's what I'm doing actually. And uh, it's been really stable. And then now you can go backwards. And you can go to firewall policies. And this is where you uh, set you can filter out your DNS traffic. You can uh, filter out your network traffic by IP address and port. Then you can filter out your L7 firewall traffic from, you, you can block uh, IP addresses and then domains. So just so you know, the firewall policies network requires the work client and the, uh, the HTTP requires the work client to be installed on uh, single devices. Uh, from what I understand. So, we're going to set up a DNS policy for our DNS location over there, the Big Bear testing location that we set up um, in the last thing. So now I'm going to go in to create a DNS policy right here. 
I'm going to block. I'm going to block security. I'm, I'm going to name it malware just for simple purposes. You can give it a description. So now I'm going to go to traffic right here. I'm going to type in security ca categories and then I'm going to say in. And then now you have all these different security categories that are a risk. So you can just block malware if you want to, you can block phishing, private addresses. Uh, so you can also go and block all security risk. So now if you do this, you can set action now. So you can allow it, block, override, safe search, YouTube sit, uh, restricted. Some will say block. And then now you can display block pa page if you want to, a custom block page. You can set it up over here. So now you can go down here to create policy down the bottom right. And then now when you go to that DNS, when you add the DNS location to the devices, uh, or rather add guard or something like that globally or just a single device, it will now block the malware or any security that Cloudflare thinks that is bad in those security categories right there. So I'm gonna pause it right here, put in the DNS location information inside my computer, and then I'm going to show you how you test and you see if this policy is actually working. So Cloudflare's got a really handy system uh, going on. So you can go into the documentation on Cloudflare and you can get common test domains. And then I'm going to just copy um, the malware right here. And I'm gonna go down here and dig. And then you can see that there was no error. Um, you can see that the IP address is 162.159.36.12. And then if you look on the documentation, you can see that if you get this IP address, that means that it's blocked. So it is working, the DNS policy is working. So you can now go and test each category with dig. So as you can see, that one's blocked too. So spam is blocked. So let's try the private IP addresses real quick. So you can see that one's blocked too. So the policy is working. I'm gonna do this one real quick. So you can see that one's blocked as well. So let's try to find one that's not blocked. So let's see if unreachable is blocked. Okay, this one is not blocked. You can see that it has a different IP address. It's not 162. It's not over here, it's not 162. So it is not blocked and it is allowing that one through. So Cl Cloudflare's got it really easy to where you can check this. And last one I checked with dig on uh, in the command line on in my terminal. So I'm gonna go directly to this one now and just see if it works. Okay, you can see that it was blocked. So this is what you get if uh, one of your users uh, meets a site that's bad or on security list or if you just want it blocked for for any reason They will see this custom page if you set it up like this so now I'm gonna go back to um, Let's see. I'm gonna go back to the Testing DNS filtering. So now if you go to this one the one that wasn't blocked You can see that this is a test website provided by Cloudflare Gateway, and we did not get the custom block page, so it did go through. So now I'm going to go inside of the um, DNS location right here, and I'm going to just copy the DNS over HTTPS right here, and I'm gonna go over to my AdGuard installation. I created a new ad installation and I added this to my computer's DNS in the Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to paste this Cloudflare gateway one that we just copied over there in the DNS location. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to apply and now I'm going to test the upstream servers just to make sure they're working and it is working. So now I'm going to go to the malware one 
that we had before and you can see the access is restricted and then now I'm going to go to the unreachable one you can see it did uh, allow it through so it's working exactly the same except this is just going through AdGuard home now and uh, it's working good so now, now you can have your protection on AdGuard plus you can also use Cloudflare Gateway too I haven't had any problems with using it that way, so uh, you can decide if you want to use it that way, or you just want to put Cloudflare Gateway directly on your uh, your router. You can do that as well. So now I'm in the DNS location again. I'm going to show you how to set up DNS over TLS. So you're going to just copy that. Then you're going to go over to your AdGuard installation. And before, in the last one, I set up the HTTPS one, the DNS over HTTPS. So now I'm going to just put TLS in, and then I'm going to put the domain right there. And now I'm going to go down and apply. I'm going to test the upstream servers, and they are correctly working. So now my DNS is uh, going through TLS. So now I'm going to... Just test and see if everything is still blocked and working. So you can see it is access restricted and I am on a different Cloudflare gateway now and it doesn't have the custom page right now. So now I'm going to go over to the unreachable one and you can see it did let me through. So it's working exactly the same. It's just going over TLS now. With Cloudflare Gateway, every time something's blocked or allowed, it keeps a log. And um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to start on the Zero Trust uh, homepage right now. I'm going to go to Logs right here. Then I'm going to go to Gateway. And then you're going to see um, that you can search up here. So I'm going to search. And you can see all the times I tried to access malware. You can see they were blocked. So now if I'm, I'm going to go to unreachable. So now you can see that every time I tried to go to unreachable, it was allowed. So you can see all these logs and you can see what's happening with your gateway and figure out what's blocked and what's not blocked and be able to, um, to administrate the gateway and be able to unblock something if it's causing problem with your users or anything. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Cloudflare Gateway working. You can either put it on your router's DNS or you can put it on single devices or you can also uh, use the work client. Uh, so you can also put it on your AdGuard home installations and all your instances. And, um, and that's what I'm personally doing right now. So, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and if you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community, it'll be down in the description, and also you can comment on any of the videos, and I'll be glad to help as much as possible. So, thank you, and stay tuned for more.